Friedrichs is honored to be selected by the Ministry of Labor as a venue for this announcement. The company and its workforce have a high regard for employee safety. With a very active joint health and safety committee, numerous policies and procedures to maintain safe working practices. We are also pleased that the Minister will be able to accompany a few employees for a brief tour to showcase some of the efforts completed in the last few years. Well, I'm delighted to be here in Coburg. It's such a, a beautiful part of our province and to be at this magnificent uh, facility that you have here, Jeff, and your team at, uh, at Weedabix. You know, we're always talking about uh, good things and uh, through your cereals and having a good start to the day. Well, a lot of good things are happening here in this plant when it comes to uh, health and safety. And this plant is just huge. It uh, produces uh, 90 different brands of cereal, exports those uh, all over the world, across Canada, the United States, and to, uh, and to Britain, and it's something that we all are, are all very proud of. As Minister of Labor, I'm very proud of your health and safety record, and that's why uh, we're here today. You have over 200 employees that work here in this plant, and I see many of them here that are uh, with us for this announcement. And the reason that we're here is we want to make sure that every one of those employees gets home safe and sound at the end of the day to uh, their families. Needless to say, um, it doesn't always happen in some plants. And uh, that's why we have a strategy called Safe at Work Ontario. And that strategy allows our inspectors to go out into the field and make sure that uh, companies like uh, Weedabix, who have best practices uh, for health and safety, are being uh, employed in other workplaces. Yeah, in 2008, uh, we launched a program called Safe at Work Ontario. And with uh, the doubling of our number of health and safety inspectors in the province, they still go out into the field every single day, but they have particular focuses throughout the year. And this is one of the focuses over this two-month period. So they will come in to plants like this one, uh, to cement plants and to bakeries, etc., and look at uh, the conveyors and see what kind of uh, shape that they're in and the health and safety record that exists within that, uh, that particular plant. <laughs> they'll be looking for to make sure that uh, they have lockouts in place, that there are guards uh, there to protect uh, the employees, uh, ensuring that uh, nobody gets pinched or caught by the conveyors and, uh, and an injury can, uh, can happen. So what this is all about is actually uh, preventing those injuries before they happen. So we're really taking a preventative approach and it's working. Our uh, health and safety record in the province of Ontario has improved significantly. We've lowered the number of lost time injuries in the province by 25%. But uh, whenever somebody gets injured, and especially a fatality in the province, uh, we know that we need to do more. So this is a program that is uh, working. And it works, I'll tell you, because we have uh, both management and employees, workers working together, like we see here at Weedabix, a great uh, joint health and safety committee. say 99.9% uh, .9 of, uh, of, of uh, factories or establishments like Weedabix um, run uh, real good um, operations uh, and they have a real good working relationship. So what the minister is really here today, which will help us really spread the message, this is all about education a little bit, that the more we make uh, both employee and employer um, aware of, uh, of, of safety, in our workplaces. Uh, we'll just come a few minutes ago. I mean, my dad worked in uh, factory and construction, and so did my mother. And like the minister said a minute ago, when you know, we visited some of where our parents work, we've come a long way. Uh, I guess the day that we can eliminate injuries altogether, or fatalities altogether, I mean, that's all we're, really what we're striving for. So, uh, and uh, 
you know, we hear a little bit uh, today. Uh, these folks uh, have uh, have uh, shown uh, stellar uh, results when it comes to health and safety. Uh, and I just want to go outside of that a little bit. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with Ubex over the last couple of years also to promote Ontario content. Uh, and I know this is not really related to what we're here for today, but you know, they make a product which is distributed worldwide uh, with Ontario uh, farm products. And I think that speaks stellar of uh, Ubex and we really, really appreciate it. This increased enforcement, as it says, part of our Safe at Work Ontario strategy. Our inspectors will be out at manufacturing plants like this one, but also at cement plants, automotive plants, sawmills, pharmaceutical plants. They'll also visit bakeries and farming operations. With every stop, the inspectors will check for lockout and guardrail hazards. That includes unguarded power transmission parts, in running nip points, pinch points, and improper lockout and blocking during maintenance and repair activities. During this time, our inspectors, I have to say, will take a zero tolerance approach to contraventions related to these hazards. years with a global, a global recession that hit us quite hard. It's been tough on Ontario families, I'm sure here in the community, but in the face of that economic storm, our government has stood firm. In fact, we've pushed back and we've come up with a plan. We took an immediate action to strengthen our economy. We gave businesses incentives and significant tax breaks, and we've invested $32 billion in infrastructure projects, just like the community center that is being built right behind Weedabix here. We did this all to keep hundreds of thousands of people working in our province, and the recovery is going a little slower than we would like, but we know that we're all moving in the right direction. And like all good investments, the returns will be impressive. For Ontario, that means a stronger economy and better services for our families. That's what all Ontarians want. One that takes care of our health and education needs, we know these things matter to Ontario families and to Ontario workers like you. So we ask that we all keep working together to keep building a prouder, stronger, and safer Ontario. An Ontario where we know is the best place to live, work, and raise our families. So I'm delighted to be here with all of you today, knowing that health and safety is paramount to everyone in Ontario, and especially our workers, so they do go home safe and sound to their families at the end of the day.